Page 42, Summer Solstice. You can go look up Solstice and see what that's about. This is in the key of A major. It's got three sharps. Go do my scale video on A major now. Go learn the A major scale. And while you're at it, do the F sharp minor scale. It's got three sharps. They're rel related to each other, the same key signature. F sharp minor sounds, ooh, that sounds hard. It's not hard. It's only got three sharps in it. The fingering is different because you're starting on a black key. But it's all in the scale video. I explain it there. Now for here, six, eight times, so we're counting eighth notes. And this at the beginning, I'm going to take both hands together here. At the beginning, this is just an eight, one chord in the key of A major, extended out to the octave. And that's, I, I use fourth finger on the, F, on the C sharp. They're saying third. A lot of people will use third. I was taught to use four when I was in college, so that's what I use, so that's what I do. And it, at six, or eighth notes. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Then we have the inversions to the A chord. And then we're going to do the four chord, or the D major chord. And again, I use the fourth finger on the A. And then it's inversions. And you can go ahead and use the fingering in the book. It's fine. This is not a fast piece. And then you go up to the five chord. And again, I use the fourth finger. It's inversions. Isn't this fun? Now, if you can't do that, you got to do that. It's up to you and how big your hands are. And then back down here. Then on page 43, they just switch it around. Now the right hand gets to have fun. And the left hand gets the inversions. And again, I use the fourth finger. And I do those all in one, but you can do that here. I'll leave the fingering up to you and your teacher on that. And then the four chord. And then five chord. And then the last measure, or the last line, I should it's back to the one chord. Together. No E here, just here. No big deal, I hope. Counting wise, it's fairly simple. Just one, two, three, four, five, six. As far as articulation goes, there really isn't any. You just kind of play it legato. Don't worry about the articulation. Just play it all legato. Then dynamic wise, this both hands here. It's moderately soft. Whatever you think moderately soft is. Then crescendo to moderate. You're going up to here. Not loud, just sort of loud. And then back down to moderately really soft again. And then crescendo. And you're doing each of these the same way until you get down to measure 13. Now it's moderate, you're staying moderately loud. And you're going up to loud. Ta da! Okay. And on page 43, it's, you're starting moderately loud. Going up to loud. Now you can come down to moderately soft and go back up if it would help bring out that crescendo. Here. But you're basically on the loud side all throughout page 43. Speed wise, Andantino, again, we're getting into that gray area of Andantino. Somewhere on the slower side of the middle. How, how clear as mud is that? It's just, it's, and it's the flow of the piece, not the beat. These to be too fast. And you don't want these to be too slow. It's somewhere in the middle. It's a give and take between the two. I'm feeling it in two. One, two, one, two. That's kind of the slow side of the. I don't know. It'd be different. Depends on what time of day it is for me. So. It's up to you on how fast you take it. Now the pedal, you're, you're, we're using pedal for the block chords to connect them. So you push the pedal down right after you play the note and you lift the pedal up with the right hand with the chord or whichever hand is playing the chord. You lift, separate it so there's a little silence between each line. That's all, that's all we're doing at the pedal. So I'd like to play this with you very slowly to double check 
everything. I don't know that we need to double check anything here really. It's pretty simple compared to what you've had in the past. But it's a good exercise in the key of A major on the A chord and the the one four are in the five chords. We're not using the five seven, but the five chord at least. You can do the seven later, I guess. So I'll give us six counts because we're in the six eight time. Let's just try it slowly together. One, two, three, four, ready, go.